Here we have a problem where we need to find a coordinate on a graph uh, when we've been given a slope of the line and, and a particular point. And this is sort of a, a real life situation here. Let me read through the problem. It says, suppose that the monthly cost of a long distance phone plan in dollars is a linear function of the total calling time. So here we have the, the, call, the, the cost of the plan uh, on the y-axis here, and here we have the calling plan on the x-axis. So as the calling time goes up, the cost of the plan goes up. That makes sense. It says, when graph the function gives a line with a slope of 0.13, and we're going to come back to that and what that means. The monthly cost for 40 minutes is 1342. So this is the point they're giving us. So we've got a slope, we've got a point, and it says, what's the monthly cost for 45 minutes of calls. So if I if I call 45 minutes, what's the cost going to be here? That's what we need to find out. So the crucial part here is the slope, and this is what we can use to figure out uh, the value at this point. Slope is rise over run. So how much the graph goes up over how much it goes over. When we have a slope of 0.13, we could rewrite that as a fraction. We could put it as 0.13 over 1. And what that means is that if the run is 1, for each minute, for if you go up 1 minute, then you go up 0.13 in cost. So for every minute, you're basically being charged 13 cents. And if the cost was 13.42 at 40 minutes, well, at 45 minutes, it's going to be 5 minutes times 13 cents and add that to the 13.42. So 5 times 13, what is that, 65 cents? So we add that to the 13.42. And we get $14 and seven cents for the cost of the plan at 45 minutes. So that's a little work with a, a, an applied problem where we're given a slope and a point and we need to find another point.